Bonjour and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Claude here. Thank you for joining me for your bonus tarot reading for February. So this is going to be a reading for the people born under the Lovers card and the Devil card. If you do not know what your tarot birth card is, I've dropped you a link in the description box below for the um, short instructional video that I've recorded. There's also another video link to uh, what your card means for you. Um, there's also another video about your annual card. So, you know, just check the description box. It's all down there. And today I'm going to be using both Tarot de Marseille from Vincent Petitchi, um, both editions. I've reviewed those as well, so if you're wondering about the cards, there's a link in the description box for the review of these cards as well. So I'm going to grab an energy to see what you're dealing with right now, and then I'll clarify it with the other deck. So if you'd like to connect to the energies of my deck, now's the time to do so by taking a couple of deep breaths and relaxing whilst I shuffle the cards. So what do my querents, born under the Lovers and the Devil cards, need to hear for their highest good, please? Oh, well, it came up, so I will take it. And we have, wow, the Nine of Cups beautiful energy, the wish fulfillment card as it's often nicknamed. You know, nine is achievement in the tarot and this represents the emotional body, so anything that brings you emotional satisfaction and contentment and fulfillment. So the nine of, of cups to me is a beautiful card of being happy, of having gotten what you wanted and being in a state of gratitude, you know, really, really taking in um, what has been achieved and a period of time in your life where you're feeling that. So that's the overall energy. So let's see what this is about. And if it's not there yet, it's coming. <laughs> so can you clarify those energies, please? So we begin with the Page of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Okay, so we, we do have a lot of cup energy, so a lot to do with your emotional um, satisfaction, fulfillment. Okay, uh, Nine of Coins. I mean, you've got the Nine of Coins and the Nine of Cups, my two favorite minor arcanas, beautiful energies. The Knight of Cups, we're back on the Cups. And the Lover, Major Arcana. Bottom of the deck, which is the energy at work that you may not be aware of, but definitely there we have the King of Wands. So, um, I'm going to talk to you about the King of Wands in a minute, because I, I, I want to get into the meat of the reading, and then I will tie it in with it. So we have the Page of Sword with the Nine of Coins. Now the Page is... And as I said to you, you have an overwhelming amount of um, cups and things to do with your feelings and your emotions. So this is something that's very dear to your heart, what's going on right now. Something to do with whatever it is you wish at the deepest level of your heart space. So pages represent news, messages coming your way. They also represent new direction um, and a desire to learn. Swords is the mental body. So the page of swords... Uh, may indicate a new way of thinking, you know, thinking out of the box or a new direction, a change in the way you think, just generally speaking. The Page of Swords could also simply be the bearer of news, you know, somebody bringing you some news. Um, it also, because the pages represent the desire to learn, um, may represent the need or desire to research things, you know, getting your facts straight, or so getting more knowledge in a specific um, area. So it could be at work, or it could be if you're thinking about a relationship, for instance, just getting more facts. Now this is supported by the Nine of Coins. Now the Nines represents achievement, as I said, with, with the Cups. This is the achievement in the um, everyday life. So it can represent, obviously, your job, your career, 
a successful business, it can represent your financial assets, it can represent your home life, um, you know, and having a beautiful house or home or place where you live, um, or all of the above. It really is a grounded energy, um, earth energy, that talks about things that are very concrete. So the nine of coins is having worked patiently, diligently, having applied yourself, having uh, developed your skills if necessary to get to a level of prosperity and abundance. And with that comes um, a certain degree of independence, obviously, because you've done it on your own, you can stand on your own two feet, which obviously gives you um, a certain level of confidence as well. Um, being able to obtain this on your own is a huge achievement in one's life. And you know, it didn't come easily. This is not, the Nine of Coins doesn't come easily. This is hard working energy. Um, this is truly well deserved. So you may um, have gotten there through thinking differently. You may have gotten there because someone gave you some um, knowledge that helped you um, gain that um, freedom, that level of freedom. Uh, you know, take what resonates, you're here for different reasons. So it will. Um, obviously have um, a different meaning for each of you. But they are intrinsically linked, so this is very important. Um, this is a special message for someone out, out there. You may have received a message, um, some news, that meant you became independently um, free. Uh, like a news of inheriting something you didn't expect. That's just... I know it's not the Ten of Coins. The Ten of Coins can be the Inheritance card, but I'm getting the message that this Page of Swords may have told you, and obviously no um, genders attached, just the energy. You may have received a message, some news, um, okay, even more specific than that, um, may inher inherit from family you didn't know existed. You didn't know you were related to these people. That's a special message. Just delete it from your head if it's not for you. We then have the Seven of um, Cups, which Seven is the number of um, evaluation and analysis. So this is having many options and evaluating them, but looking at them from your heart space. Which of them will give me the, um, the most emotional fulfillment? It comes with a level of overwhelm as well, because as human beings, when we have too many choices, we can end up in um, analysis paralysis and not know what to do. So that may be you as well. And this is triggered by an offer, the Knight of Cups. The Knights represents offers, um, also things moving forward. Um, and so the Knight of Cups could, um, could be presenting you with a love offer or with a job offer, because the cup holds the liquid of your happiness. So whatever is happiness for you, whether it's work-oriented or um, a romantic relationship, um, this is what this knight is offering. Now, it could be someone asking for forgiveness as well, um, which is putting you in that kind of overwhelm, um, you know, what, what am I going to do kind of, kind of thing. Um, there is also a little known meaning for the Seven of Cups, which is someone with exceptional qualities. And so this person may well be uh, someone with exceptional qualities that your spirit team is telling you to consider, or whatever the offer is. The offer may have exceptional qualities that you need to consider. Um, but I believe that this is created by the fact that um, with this energy of the Nine of Coins, you feel independent and you don't want to lose that, is what I'm, what I'm getting. And you, there is a, you know, a thought here for you, um, because of the Page of Swords. We then move on to the Two of Cups, which is to do with a significant partnership or relationship. Now, yes, it can be a romantic partner, but it could also be um, a, a deep um, friendship or a, a deep bond with someone in your family or someone you meet um, in your community but not romantic. It could also be a, um, a significant partnership um, at work or a business partner, someone who's, you know, is going to see things the way you do. And it is supported by the lovers. Now the lover is a 
a major arcana, so it's a, it's a card of choices. It's a big card of choices. It's being at a crossroad in your life, a very important one, and having to make a decision. It talks about also being torn between uh, your head, what your mind is telling you, and what your heart is telling you. That's why you always see the lover is being torn between the two women. That's the original um, version. The Rider-Waite Smith, which is a deck that occurred later, shows you just a man and a woman. Um, but originally it's a man being torn between the two women, hence the meaning of choice, decision. So a decision to make with um, a partnership, a significant partnership. Um, so you may be considering the offer from a new suitor, or you may be considering the offer that this person is bringing you, generally speaking, someone who you knew. So, for instance, um, asking for forgiveness, or asking maybe to um, become a bit more committed, for instance. That may well be. Now, this is all sitting next to the Nine of Cups, which is the wish fulfillment. So, you may be anchoring for more commitment um, or a significant relationship to, you know, to appear. And Underneath the deck, we have this King of Wands, which I said I'd keep for the end. So the King represents knowledge, mastery, expertise. And Wands is to do with passion, your spirit, your drive, your desire. This is the fire element. Um, and so the King of Wands is someone who is incredibly charismatic. An action taker, a go-getter, someone who's going to take calculated risk, um, someone who would consider offers and you know, they're not going to say yes to something boring, they're going to say yes to something outstanding, something that just really um, ignites their heart and soul on fire. So, I'm getting the very, very strong vibe that this is who this person is, this person who's meant to have a significant bond with you. Um, you may have to choose between someone new, like this person, and someone who's asking to come back into your life, for instance. That may well be what this is about. Um, I'm gonna say something, this is a special message for someone that there. Again, delete it if it's not for you, but if this is someone coming back to you and asking for forgiveness, they are looking towards your nine of coins, which is your prosperity and abundance, which means their intentions are not as pure as what they might uh, want you to believe, you know, they can be very romantic and woo you is what I'm trying to say. So uh, I, I would consider carefully if someone is asking for forgiveness, if they've hurt you in the past. That's a message for someone out there. But um, yes, to me, this King of Wands is someone who's coming your way and is showing up as being your wish fulfillment, really. Everything that you, you could possibly want, you know, to be emotionally satisfied, happy, um, and, and at peace is, is what I'm hearing for some reason. I'm getting very specific messages for you guys that, that, that don't know why, but this is, um, yeah, it's very specific. So obviously, as I said, this can be a big decision that you have to make between the new person and someone who's trying to come back, or it's just a decision that you have to make from, the, from your heart space when it comes to um, your career. So, you know, your, the Two of Cups can also represent the um, relationship between your conscious self and your higher self. So, choosing something that enables your conscious self and your higher self to be in unison, to sing from the same sheet. Um, so, choosing a, a career, for instance, that's going to fulfill you emotionally as well as bringing you money, paying the bills and so on and so forth. That's the other thing that I am... Uh, finding, but this is a very big decision that you have to 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 make. You know, it's a big crossroad for you, and with potentially getting your wish fulfilled. So that's very exciting. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. If you found this message helpful in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. As always, I thank you for your time. It's your most precious commodity. I'm truly grateful you chose to spend it with me. I wish you a beautiful end of the month, and I will see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.